Just letting you know, this is only my spoiler first impressions of the episode. Check my pinned comment for a free gift related to this video. And to watch my unfiltered reactions with exclusive bonuses, join my Asha Media TV club. The link is in the description box below. Now, here's my afterthoughts of this episode of Supernatural. Oh, okay. My goodness. This was a lot <laughs> for an episode. Um, I'll, I'll just tell you right off the bat, this is a simple one for me. Uh, it's fantastic in terms of writing and really, really good in performance, especially from the, the, the mom there. She really sold the conflict of feelings and emotions with wanting to protect her son versus her brother that she loves and not taking that chance to go and talk to him, which, you know, it's easy to be like, how could you, you know, he was your brother, but she justified it through fear, right? Crippling fear. Okay. So in a nutshell, uh, this was way deeper than I thought it was going to be for a filler episode, but I appreciate that because what I've, what I've been complaining about with some of their fillers, a lot of their fillers, to be honest, is that they're nonsensical and, and, um, for the most part, not all of them, but a good chunk of them are un are need needlessly ridiculous in terms of whatever message they're trying to tell with certain things. And at least with this one, this was very much um, relatable with the very dark content and uh, touching on how in environments like that, it doesn't matter what demographic you're in. I mean, I think that this applies to almost every culture. Whenever there's anything that touches on an adult possibly abusing a child, the community reaction that they showed in this episode is very real. I, I know in my culture, it's, uh, it's intolerable. Intolerable. So to even tackle that as a subject matter, it's pretty brave of them. But the way they went about it was very classy, I think. Nicely vague enough so you just you're not too uncomfortable with the possibility of that pos you know that could be true with Chester. But also where there's room for doubt that he was just misunderstood. And oh, that's what makes it so tragic. So for the sake of writing and performance and even just trying to give this filler episode some real grit to work with. And of course, Donna! <laughs> Getting dubbed again. I love that line so much. And even the creep factor with the costumes. I mean, the whole thing with the bunny at the beginning. Kudos, that was really, really good. So with all that, I I'm going to give it... I'm going to give it a solid four. It's really good. Yeah, solid four. I think it deserves that for sure. But rewatchability is... No, I, I'm not watching this episode ever, ever again. <laughs> Aside for the fact that, you know, another creepy-ass clown to deal with, and I freaking hate clowns. I, I'm pretty much like Sam, except for I'm not that brave enough to take it down in an elevator. And during my edit, I'll probably have to see through some of that footage, footage anyway. But if I can avoid it in the moment as I'm watching, I, I'm not looking. I'm just not looking. But peripherally, I see enough to know what's kind of going on. And the end part now, whether it's God or not giving him those visions... Lucifer is going to play a part, and that's that's all I'm really excited for now. I think this kind of confirmed that. Yeah, Mark Pellegrino coming up soon enough. Or um, well, at that time here in 2000, what 15, 16, I uh, finally established a few episodes ago. Uh, I don't know if he was on other stuff, so. Part of me is like, maybe they might not even bother have him come back. Or maybe another actor will play him. Yeah, I'm trying to think what other actor would they ever cast. That's exciting to think who else could play Lucifer. Multiple Lucifers in the show. I mean, we do have multiple John Winchesters. Well, that's based on age. Young John, old John. But considering Lucifer... Well, Lucifer is technically vessel-less anyway. So anybody could play him. But I do want to see Mark. <laughs> so hopefully, I'm crossing my fingers, they do get Mark. This is, I like the consistency of the same actor playing him. And Mark does such a good job. All right, for my wheels run away with me, um, thankfully, I have a, a schedule to follow. So there you have it. 
those are my thoughts for episode number seven of the 11th season of Supernatural. If you want early access to my reactions to Supernatural, including bonus stuff that I share only with club members, details on joining my Asha Media TV club is in the description box below for you. All right, people, I'm on to episode eight, so I'll see you in that video soon enough. Bye. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to subscribe and check out my other videos.